Hello, hello, hello guys. It's your girl Shaniqua and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, me and Quentin is permanently at Walmart. We came to pick up some baby wipes, but when we realized there was nothing in the frozen section for meat, we realized we had to grab as much as we can. So we found quite a few new finds and great quick fix meals in the frozen section. We hope you guys enjoy this grocery haul and thank you guys for watching. All right guys, so this is what our grocery haul is looking like. So we only have one table full today, which is really, really good. Um, we did go shopping about two weeks ago, as you guys have saw in our last haul. Here we just picked up some of the basic things that we needed. Um, we still have a deep freezer with lots of meats in it, so we didn't really have to shop for frozen meats. But we just needed quick things, quick little meals we can make for the children, or that they can make for themselves. And we have a lot of new finds here. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to start on this side here. We have some chicken wings with garlic butter dry rub. We have never tried these guys. We have two bags. Um, They look really delicious. We love wings. I always tell you guys that. And I guess it comes with a little bag of garlic butter dry rub. And we, you must have to spread it on there. I'm not sure, but we'll definitely let you guys know how these wings came out. And we did get all of this stuff from Walmart. Here we have some red hot wings. This is a new find for us. And apparently it's a new find in Walmart because it has a big new jumbo sign there. <laughs> so they're red hot wings, kicking barbecue flavor. And then we have another red hot wings buffalo flavor. And it's also new. We'll let you go. No. We'll let you guys know how those came out. Burritos. Um, it's egg sauces and cheese. So I decided to pick this up for the children or for anyone who wants to, a quick breakfast because a lot of times I don't have time to make breakfast in the morning. And in here, um, we have a bag of swah um, fillets. I have never, I tried this one time, I believe. Quentin really likes this fish. I don't too much care for it. It's not bad, but it's just not a favorite of mine. But Quentin loves it. The children have never tried it, um, so they're good to try it now. Some fish sticks. I never buy fish sticks. I don't know why. All children eat fish sticks, I believe. <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> if the children will go ahead and eat these fish sticks. Here we have some griddle cakes, um, maple pancakes and sausage for a quick breakfast. These are really good. I have had them before. Um, yeah, they're really delicious. Here I have a large bag of broccoli florets. Everyone loves broccoli in this house. And then here, which is a new find, we have P.F. Chang's Honey Chicken. So I believe we have two bags of those. It looks really delicious. Jarik and um, Quentin and Russell loves honey chicken. So I think they're going to enjoy that. And then I just got one bag of the chicken fried rice. I normally make my own pork fried rice. So we're going to see how this fried rice tastes. And then I could have sworn there was one more bag of P.F. Chang's. But I guess it wasn't. Okay. So then here... We have some pork pop stickers, pork and vegetable dumplings. We have never tried these, so this is a new find for us. This would be really good with some soy sauce, and it comes with a dipping sauce. But Quentin also picked up a chili sauce, which I'll show you guys in a minute. That would be really delicious with these um, dumplings. Here we have some sweet and sour chicken, which is a new find for us. It's a family size. Everyone loves sweet and sour chicken in this house, so this would be really good for a quick dinner or lunch. Oh, we have another bag of the Red Hot Buffalo Wings. And then here, we have two boxes of these pancakes and sausage on a stick. I have never bought these. Um, I know some of the children have tasted, but I, I normally don't buy this. But like I said, I am really pushing it with breakfast in the morning with a newborn baby. So this would be really good. Here's one box, two boxes for the children to eat in the morning when they um, are hungry. 
And then here I have a ham. We have not had a ham since what Thanksgiving, I believe. So yeah, we have a honey cure double glaze um spiral ham. This is gonna be really good. Um, since we haven't had it since Thanksgiving. And then here we have a stuffed a stuffed pizza. It's um beef taco. This is a new find for us. And as you can see, the box also says new. We have never tried this pizza. It looks really delicious. And it's taco and cheese stuffed. I believe the crust. Yeah, look at that. The crust is actually showing the cheese. This looks very yummy. So that'll be a nice quick lunch or dinner for us. We'll let you guys know how that tastes. Here we have some juices. So we have the Ocean Spray Cran Tri Tropical. We have never had this. It looks really good. So we'll see how those taste. We have a couple of packs of Welch's Juices. Six pack. So here we have... I'm sorry about the background noise, guys. So here we have the mango pineapple. Then we have white peach, which I have never tried. None of us have ever tried it, I don't think. And then we have the Welch's fruit punch. And then we have another Welch's fruit punch. And then we have a Welch's grape. Coming along this way. We have some synonym French toast sticks. You guys always see this in our grocery hauls. We have two boxes again. The children run through these things like water. I really need to just buy about 10 boxes. That'll probably last us the month. <laughs> and in here we have a bag, well two bags, of um, Nathan's thick sliced onion rings. This will be good with our chili dogs. Here we have two packs of bacon. This is not the normal bacon that we normally buy. Um, they were out of the bacon we buy. So this is the Applewood smoked bacon, the Walmart brand. And then here, which I love this bacon. I do buy this bacon sometimes, but Quentin don't really care for it. This is the right hickory bacon. So yeah, I haven't had this in quite some time. So that's going to be delicious. Here we have some garlic knots. Um, we never buy garlic knots. So this is a new find for us. It's going to be a new try for us in our home. We have two boxes. We normally only buy Texas Toast garlic bread or the regular long loaf garlic bread. So yeah, so now we get to try out the knots. I'm pretty sure the children is gonna love them. Here we have some flower tacos um, for Shania. She loves these. Um, she could use that for a couple of different recipes she's gonna be making. Here, this is not for us, but for our dog. We have some smokehouse sausage sticks. So we have the teriyaki flavored, um, two of those. And then we have some original beef jerky for Bella, which is our dog. Um, yeah, she's getting spoiled, guys. That's for her quick snacks. Here we have extra sweet um, green giant corn. Then we have some steakums. I believe we have four boxes, but here's two. One and two. We love steakums, guys. You know, Quentin is the king of making those Philly cheese steaks. Here we have some White Castle burgers. You know, I'm from New York, so we got to have the White Castle burgers. They are a big hit in our home. Everyone loves them. Moving along here, we have two bags of green grapes. The children love grapes. They go like water in this house. Here we have a bag of coleslaw. Um, which Quentin love coleslaw and we also picked up some um, let me see if I can focus this yikes summer is not focusing guys <laughs> let me see focus there we go some original slaw dressing we have never had this guys but Quentin's dad recommended us to use it because I don't know how to make coleslaw I'm not well I have never made coleslaw from scratch so I'm gonna try it with this dressing then here we have an ice cream, which is Quentin's. I'm gonna get that put up in the freezer because it's melting. That ice cream is melting, guys. Um, did I show y'all the sweet and sour chicken? I believe I did. Here we have some sauces. So we have some original chalupa, chulala. Ch I thought it was chalupa sauce, chalula sauce, chalola sauce. Hot sauce, it is really good, guys. Delicious on everything. And it's not really that hot. And in here, let me see if I can focus this. This is the sauce I was telling you for the dumplings. 
um this is sweet chili sauce and it is delicious guys you have to try this at home and they sell it at walmart we have two bottles of this and in here we have some i'm trying to focus on these sauces guys here we have some sriracha mayo this is really delicious quentin loves it here we have some low sodium soy sauce and in here we have never tried this well i haven't but quentin may have we have some panda orange sauce for the wings i mean for his um orange wings that we have purchased here we have some marie calendars um pot pie dinners we have one two three four five six so we have chicken flavor and then turkey flavor and then we have the creamy mushroom chicken and then we have the reg another chicken they love pot pies in this house guys here we have some farm rich um breaded mushrooms this is going to be a new try we have never had these i don't like mushrooms but quentin love mushrooms so of course he picked this out so yeah i know he's gonna um enjoy having a new try with these here we have some crispy honey chicken so this will be for one of our ch quick chinese nights here we have three packs of Kraft single cheese, the 24 pack. We go through cheese very quick in this house. So that's why we had to purchase three of them. Here we have some um, breakfast bowls. So we have bacon flavor. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. So we have bacon and flavored, and then we have the meat flavor for meat lovers. And then we have um, sauces and gravy down at the bottom. That's for really quick breakfasts for the children. Really the older children eat those in Quentin. Then we have these Funfetti um, pancakes again. You've seen these in my last haul. The children absolutely love these. So this time I went ahead and I purchased five boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. That should last us um, over a month. We'll see, because they do eat them for snacks and lunches and everything else. <laughs> so here we have some mac and cheese. Yes, guys, yes, mac and cheese from the Miss Awesome Fabulous Patty LaBelle. If you guys have not tried this macaroni and cheese, please go out and try it. I'm not sure what stores sell it, but they do sell it at Walmart, and it is absolutely delicious. It's really good for when you don't have time to go ahead and make your own homemade uh, macaroni and cheese, and you don't want the box macaroni and cheese. This is as close to homemade as you will get it. And I have one, two, that's how delicious it is, guys, three. And like I said, I do make my own macaroni, but it's times that your girl just can't do it with seven children and a newborn. This is definitely a new try for us from the famous Miss Patty LaBelle. This is beef brisket stew. It looks really delicious. Me and Quentin will probably enjoy this more than the children will. Um, over some white rice, perhaps. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So we'll see how that comes out. And then here we just have two bags of tortilla scoops, one and then two. And then here we have some um, cold cuts. So we have black forest ham, which is a favorite of mine. And then I have some honey ham for sandwiches, of course. And then here's the steakums that I was talking about. So we do have four boxes. Here's the other two. Um, this is definitely gonna last us over a month. Well, it should. Cause we don't make Philly cheesesteaks maybe once every two weeks maybe. So that should last us four boxes, should last us about two months. But then again, I take that back because Shania loves making them for lunches too. So maybe not, maybe it will be a month. <laughs> so here Quentin found this. These are some baby back pork ribs um, in a barbecue sauce. Um, restaurant recipe, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So they're made from Tony Romas. I'm not sure how these taste. They look really delicious. All you do is throw them in the oven or you can grill them. They're already ready and it's pan. 
So yeah, this is gonna be really cool when I don't have time to go season up no ribs. And the children all do love ribs here. Especially baby back ribs. I, I totally enjoy those. So yeah, Quentin picked up two of these. So this is a new try for us. So when we have them, we'll let you guys know how those came out. And then of these, um, what is for the baby's formula. And then our beautiful puppy, Bella, she needed some dog food. So we picked up some, um, some pedigree soft food. She also have hard food. I guess it's still in the car. But we picked up the hard food, the soft food. Bella needed some training pads. Although she is trained, we still keep one pad down in the house for when she's not able to get outdoors. And then here, we have a rolling lint brush, which we needed. And then, last but not least, we have this toilet bowl cleaner for the younger children's bathroom because they needed a new one. So yeah, guys, that is all for this grocery haul. All right, guys. Thanks for watching our grocery haul. It's your boy Q. And as you can see, the shelves is empty. And we didn't have much to choose from. Everything we got was costly, but we got a big family. So, hey, the more the merrier. <laughs> And um, so hope y'all guys stay safe. Uh, we had to hop around a little bit to, you know, to get everything we got. And glad you guys enjoyed our grocery hauls. Hope it was a big help to you guys. Be safe out there and enjoy. And make sure you subscribe, hit the subs, and make sure you turn on notifications. <laughs>